Why did Queen Elizabeth elevate Princess Charlotte to a unique status, breaking tradition by ensuring she wouldn't be surpassed in succession by a younger brother? Royal observers were intrigued by Charlotte, noting her striking resemblance to Queen Elizabeth and the profound significance of her birth for England. Her every gesture and action suggests she possesses the potential to emerge as a remarkable leader in the years ahead. Share your predictions for her future in the comments below after considering all that makes her exceptional. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, the second child of Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, has captivated the public with her endearing personality and lively presence since her birth on May 2, 2015. Despite her royal title and the responsibilities that come with it, Charlotte is known for her vibrant character and diverse interests, which paint a picture of a spirited young princess growing up in the spotlight. Described as very bubbly and the biggest character among her siblings by sources speaking to us weekly, Charlotte exudes confidence and charm. This confidence is evident in her interactions during public appearances alongside her family, where she often steals the show with her natural charisma. One aspect of Charlotte's personality that has intrigued observers is her sophisticated palate. According to Vogue, the young princess has developed a fondness for olives, a taste that suggests a palate more mature than her years. Alongside her appreciation for olives, Charlotte also enjoys childhood favorites such as cheesy pasta and pizza, as reported by Hello! magazine. In a reflection of her family's hands-on approach to parenting, Charlotte and her siblings, Prince George and Prince Louis, reportedly join their parents in cooking these dishes, fostering a love for culinary exploration and family bonding. Prince William has shared glimpses into Charlotte's interests revealing her love for dancing, a passion shared by many children her age. This enthusiasm for dance highlights her playful nature and adds another dimension to her growing identity as a young member of the royal family. Her inclination towards physical activities extends beyond dance. According to Town & Country, Charlotte enjoys performing cartwheels and putting on gymnastics shows for her family showcasing her energetic spirit and love for movement. Charlotte's upbringing within the royal family is marked by a balance of tradition and modernity, with her parents emphasizing a nurturing environment that encourages their children to explore their interests and engage with the world around them. Their approach reflects a desire to provide a grounded childhood while preparing their children for their future roles within the monarchy. In the public eye, Princess Charlotte's appearances alongside her family at royal engagements, such as Trooping the Color and Christmas celebrations, offer glimpses into her life as a young princess growing up under the scrutiny of public attention. These moments underscore her natural poise and comfort in front of crowds, traits that hint at a future where she will play a significant role within the British royal family. The birth of Princess Charlotte was an international event, with news outlets worldwide covering the announcement and subsequent events surrounding her birth. Her first public appearance, just hours after her birth, saw her parents proudly presenting her to the world on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital. Wrapped in a delicate shawl by G. H. Hurton's son, details of her attire and the brand of the shawl became noteworthy as media outlets and royal enthusiasts alike scrutinized every aspect of her debut. From her earliest days, Princess Charlotte's life has been a blend of tradition and modernity, shaped by her royal status and the expectations that come with it. Unlike most children her age, every milestone and public appearance she makes becomes a headline, highlighting her role as a member of the British royal family. Despite her young age, Princess Charlotte has already participated in several official royal engagements, marking her presence at significant events such as the Trooping the Color Ceremony, an annual celebration of the Queen's official birthday. These appearances not only showcase her as a budding royal, but also introduce her to the ceremonial duties and public engagements that define life within the monarchy. 
One of Princess Charlotte's most memorable roles to date was as a flower girl at the wedding of her Aunt Meghan Markle to Prince Harry in May 2018. Clad in a charming white dress with floral embellishments, Charlotte captivated onlookers as she fulfilled her role with grace and adorable enthusiasm. Her appearance at this high-profile event further cemented her status as a beloved figure within the royal family and endeared her to the public. To the pu In addition to Meghan Markle's wedding, Princess Charlotte has also served as a flower girl at other family weddings, including those of her aunt Pippa Middleton and her cousin Princess Eugenie. Each occasion has offered glimpses into Charlotte's personality and growing confidence as she navigates her role as a young royal in the public eye. The name Charlotte holds deep familial connections. It is a nod to her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, whose full name is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. Queen Elizabeth II has been a pillar of stability and continuity within the monarchy, making Elizabeth a fitting choice to honor her legacy. Additionally, Charlotte is a feminine derivative of Charles, which is the name of her grandfather, Prince Charles, who is next in line to the throne after Queen Elizabeth II. This choice reflects the strong bond between generations and the continuation of royal lineage. Furthermore, Charlotte also carries personal significance within the Middleton family. It is the middle name of her maternal aunt, Pippa Middleton, sister to Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. This inclusion highlights the close relationship between the royal family and the Middleton family, emphasizing their shared values and familial ties. Her middle names, Elizabeth and Diana, further underscore the importance of family connections and legacies. Elizabeth honors Queen Elizabeth II, who has played a pivotal role in modernizing the monarchy and maintaining its relevance in contemporary times. Meanwhile, Diana pays tribute to Princess Diana, her paternal grandmother, who captured the world's imagination with her compassion, charitable work, and devotion to her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Princess Diana's legacy as the people's princess continues to resonate globally, and her influence on the royal family remains profound. Princess Charlotte's name not only reflects her familial lineage, but also sets a precedent for her future role within the monarchy. As the daughter of Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, she is fourth in line to the throne, following her grandfather, Prince Charles, her father, Prince William, and her older brother, Prince George. This places her in a position where she is likely to play a significant role in the future of the British royal family. British looking ahead, there are expectations and possibilities for Princess Charlotte's future within the royal family. Express suggests that she may eventually assume the title of Princess Royal, a prestigious title currently held by her great-aunt, Princess Anne. The title of Princess Royal is traditionally bestowed upon the eldest daughter of the reigning monarch, and it signifies a senior member of the royal family who carries out official duties on behalf of the sovereign. In the more immediate future, Princess Charlotte's focus remains on her education and upbringing. As a royal child, her education is expected to be comprehensive and tailored to prepare her for her future role. Town and Country notes that boarding school may be a consideration as she grows older, although currently, she and her brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis, have attended Lambrook School as day students since September 2022, providing them with a balanced education while maintaining their family life. Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, despite her tender age of seven, has already displayed remarkable maturity and a keen grasp of royal etiquette, as evidenced during significant public events like Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. During the commemorative event, Princess Charlotte, accompanied by her family, including her older brother Prince George, younger brother Prince Louis, and her parents Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, joined other members of the royal family on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. As the national anthem, God Save the Queen, played, Prince George momentarily placed his hand on the balcony's railing. However, Princess Charlotte, ever attuned to proper royal conduct, 
gently nudged her older brother to remind him to stand at attention with his arms at his sides, an endearing moment that showcased her sense of responsibility and adherence to protocol. This instance highlighted Princess Charlotte's role as the nurturing middle child, subtly guiding her brother in royal decorum, ensuring they uphold the dignity expected of them on such ceremonial occasions. Despite her young age, she demonstrated a clear understanding of the family's public image and the importance of respecting tradition. Moreover, Princess Charlotte also observed her elder brother's playful interaction with their aunt, Zara Tyndall, during the event. Prince George engaged in a lighthearted exchange, playfully teasing with a Union Jack flag. Zara Tyndall, in good spirits, reciprocated the jest, sparking a brief, lighthearted moment that momentarily diverted from the formal proceedings. Catherine, Princess of Wales, and Princess Charlotte herself witnessed this sibling banter, with Charlotte likely displaying a mix of amusement and gentle disapproval typical of a younger sibling observing their older brother's antics. In a poignant and solemn moment for the British royal family, Princess Charlotte of Cambridge found herself thrust into the public eye amidst the somber events following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. The Queen's death on September 8, 2022, marked the end of an era that had spanned over seven decades prompting a global outpouring of mourning and reflection. Princess Charlotte, just seven years old at the time, experienced the loss of her great-grandmother in a deeply personal and public manner. Alongside her family, including her older brother Prince George, and her parents, Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales, Charlotte participated in the state funeral proceedings that unfolded with solemnity and tradition. During the funeral, which was attended by dignitaries, members of the royal family, and representatives from across the Commonwealth, Princess Charlotte was notably seen walking behind Queen Elizabeth II's coffin. Her presence, alongside her brother and parents, symbolized not only her familial ties, but also her role within the royal lineage that stretches back generations. Throughout the day's events, Princess Charlotte displayed a poignant mix of sadness and respect. As noted by observers and media outlets, Charlotte wore a touching tribute to her great-grandmother, a horseshoe pin on her lapel, a gift from the queen herself, honoring the monarch's passion for equestrian sports. This small but meaningful gesture underscored the personal connection Charlotte felt toward Queen Elizabeth II and reflected her understanding of the significance of the moment. Despite her young age, Princess Charlotte's behavior during the funeral procession was exemplary, embodying the grace and dignity expected of a member of the royal family during such solemn occasions. Reports from the day highlighted Charlotte's composed demeanor, even as she grieved alongside her family and millions around the world. One particularly poignant moment captured the essence of Princess Charlotte's role within the family dynamic. As the funeral procession passed Wellington Arch, where the royal family stood in respectful silence, Charlotte, in her role as the nurturing younger sister, gently reminded her brother Prince George of the protocol. Observers noted that Charlotte quietly instructed George to bow as the queen's coffin passed, a moment that spoke volumes about her understanding of royal protocol and her commitment to honoring her great-grandmother's memory. Charlotte's gesture was not only a display of respect, but also a testament to her upbringing within the royal household, where traditions and etiquette are deeply ingrained from a young age. Despite her grief and the weight of the occasion, Princess Charlotte's adherence to royal protocol underscored her role as a future leader within the monarchy, embodying the values of duty, respect, and continuity that define the institution. The intricacies of royal succession have long fascinated both royal enthusiasts and constitutional experts alike, especially in the aftermath of significant events such as the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Understanding the line of succession involves navigating through centuries-old traditions, legal statutes, and modern interpretations that shape the future of the British monarchy. 
During Queen Elizabeth II's reign, the line of succession was straightforward in principle, but had complexities arising from historical precedents and gender biases. As the direct heir, Prince Charles, the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth II, occupied the first position in line to the throne. Following him were his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, respectively. Prince Harry's position in the line of succession underwent shifts as Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales, began their family. With the births of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, the succession order adjusted accordingly. Prince George took the third position, Princess Charlotte IV, and Prince Louis V. Now, with Prince Charles ascending to the throne as King Charles III, the succession has further evolved. Prince William, as the eldest son of the monarch, assumes the role of direct heir and becomes the Prince of Wales. Consequently, his children, including Princess Charlotte, move up in the line of succession under the provisions of the Succession to the Crown Act 2013. The Succession to the Crown Act 2013 marked a significant modernization in British constitutional law aiming to abolish the system of male preference primogeniture that historically favored male heirs over female ones. This legislative change ensures that the order of succession is determined by birth order rather than gender, thereby granting equal rights to female members of the royal family. Princess Charlotte's position in the line of succession exemplifies the impact of the succession to the Crown Act. Born on May 2, 2015, Charlotte retains her place as fourth in line to the throne, regardless of the gender of any future siblings she may have. This contrasts sharply with the historical experiences of her great-aunt, Princess Anne, the second child and only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II. Princess Anne, despite her status as the Queen's second eldest child and a highly respected member of the royal family renowned for her dedicated work ethic, found herself lower down in the line of succession due to the previous laws favoring male heirs. Anne currently occupies the 16th position, a reflection of the older rules that the succession to the Crown Act aimed to rectify for future generations. The act's impact on the royal succession ensures that Princess Charlotte, along with her brothers Prince George and Prince Louis, stands poised to potentially inherit the throne one day based on their birth order, irrespective of gender. This legal reform underscores the monarchy's adaptation to modern principles of equality and fairness, aligning with contemporary societal values. From a very early age, Princess Charlotte displayed a strong sense of leadership within her family, particularly in her interactions with her older brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis. Despite being the youngest, Charlotte has established herself as the dominant figure among the siblings, a fact that has been noted by family members and confirmed through various anecdotes shared by those close to the royal family. One of the earliest instances that showcased Charlotte's assertiveness was when Queen Elizabeth II herself observed Charlotte's influence over her older brother, Prince George. During an event where the Queen was present, she interacted with Emily Clay, a ten-year-old girl who was attending with her younger sister. The Queen asked Emily's mother if she looked after her younger sibling, to which Emily's mother humorously replied that it was actually the other way around, indicating that the younger sister was the one in charge. Queen Elizabeth II then drew a parallel with Charlotte and George, affirming that Charlotte held sway over her older brother despite their age gap. This vignette provided a charming glimpse into Charlotte's natural leadership qualities, even at a tender age. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has also acknowledged Charlotte's role as the assertive figure among her siblings. During public engagements, Catherine has shared anecdotes that highlight Charlotte's maturity and confident demeanor. One such instance was when Catherine engaged in conversation with Samantha Burge, a mother in the crowd, discussing their children. Catherine remarked that Charlotte was growing up quickly and asserted, She is the one in charge. This comment not only reflected Catherine's pride in her daughter, but also underscored Charlotte's assertive nature within the family dynamic. 
Charlotte's role as the boss among her siblings has also been highlighted during several high-profile royal events. In 2022 alone, Charlotte reportedly took charge on two significant occasions, where she directed her older brother, Prince George, on how to behave appropriately. Such instances not only demonstrate Charlotte's confidence, but also her awareness of royal protocol and expectations, even at a young age. Beyond her familial interactions, Princess Charlotte has also captured the public's affection through her appearances and engagements. Her presence at royal events, such as Trooping the Color and Family Weddings, has drawn attention to her poise and adorable antics, which reflect both her upbringing and her natural charisma. Charisma. Charlotte's confident demeanor and leadership qualities are also complemented by her interests and hobbies. Reports have highlighted her love for dancing, performing cartwheels, and engaging in gymnastic shows for her family, a testament to her energetic and outgoing personality. Her diverse tastes in food, from olives to cheesy pasta, and her enjoyment of cooking with her family further illustrate her spirited and well-rounded character. Princess Charlotte has been a prominent figure in global media with every aspect of her life, from her birth at St. Mary's Hospital in London to her early childhood milestones, meticulously documented and dissected by the press. Her introduction to the world on the steps of the hospital, wrapped in a G.H. Hurton Son baby shawl, marked the beginning of her public life under the scrutiny of the paparazzi and the public eye. Being the second child and only daughter of Prince William and Catherine, Princess Charlotte occupies a significant place in the line of succession to the British throne. Currently third in line behind her older brother, Prince George, and her father, Prince William, Charlotte's future role within the monarchy is assured. Though she may not ascend to the throne due to the male preference primogeniture system that historically prioritizes male heirs. Despite her royal status and the expectations that come with it, Prince William and Catherine have endeavored to provide Charlotte and her siblings, Prince George and Prince Louis, with as normal a childhood as possible. In a deliberate move to shield them from the intense media scrutiny and to foster a sense of normalcy, the family made a significant relocation from Kensington Palace in London to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor during the summer of 2022. This move not only brought them closer to Queen Elizabeth II before her passing, but also allowed them to retreat from the urban chaos of London to a quieter, more private setting. The decision to change residences was also accompanied by a change in schooling for Princess Charlotte and her brothers. As active parents committed to being involved in their children's education and upbringing, William and Catherine opted to enroll their children in a local school environment where they could thrive away from the royal spotlight. This move reflects their dedication to balancing royal duties with the desire for their children to experience a grounded upbringing. Princess Charlotte's life, despite its royal trappings, is also marked by the joys and challenges typical of any young child. Reports and anecdotes paint a picture of Charlotte as a spirited and confident young girl who enjoys activities such as dancing, gymnastics, and cooking alongside her family. Her lively personality and natural charisma have endeared her to the public and highlighted her potential as a future ambassador for the monarchy. Looking forward, Princess Charlotte's role within the royal family is expected to evolve as she grows older. Her upbringing, which blends public appearances with private family moments, prepares her for a future where she will likely engage in charitable endeavors, ceremonial duties, and representing the crown on the global stage. Her parents' efforts to balance royal responsibilities with a grounded family life ensure that Charlotte and her siblings are well-equipped to navigate the demands of their roles while maintaining a strong sense of identity and purpose. What do you think about Charlotte's specialties? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.